Today I want to show you a super easy way to remove face shine or fix oily skin in any of your portraits with two basic layers. So the first step you need to do in this process is of course identify the problem areas that you want to touch up. So in this case we have some face shine on the gentleman's forehead, around his cheeks, and on the tip of his nose. So those are the areas that I want to touch up. So to begin I'll add a new layer above my image layer. Then I'll grab my brush tool by pressing B and I'll set my opacity of that brush to 20%. You can just press two on your keyboard to set that opacity really quickly. Now we need to go and sample the color nearby the face shine so we can go and paint over it and dull down that shine a little bit. To sample a color, just hold Alt or Option while your brush tool is active and click near the edge of the shine. Now with that color sampled, we can scale up our brush. And in case you're wondering, I'm just using a basic soft round brush here. We can now go and paint over those bright and shiny areas to basically dull down those highlights. You can go over some areas multiple times, but you just don't want to go too crazy to the point that you can tell that there's a brush stroke there. Instead, we're just trying to blend in the color of the surrounding skin over that highlight. Now, depending on where the shine is on their face, you'll likely need to sample different colors. So for example, the color on the end of his nose here is a little bit different than that of his forehead. So I'll just hold alter option again, sample near that shiny area, scale down my brush with the bracket keys, and then just go and paint over this with that slightly different color so it blends a bit better in that new area. I'll do the same thing over here on his cheek, holding alter option to sample that color, and then painting over those areas like so. Now that we've dulled down that shine, it's time to smooth things out with a second layer and a different brush setting. So adding a new layer above that first one there, this time we'll set our brush opacity to 100. So just press zero on your keyboard or set it up here. This time we're going to sample a color and then go and paint over the areas that we would like to remove the shine from. Now obviously this does not look very good, but we can make this blend in really nicely by setting the layer blending mode from normal down here to color. What that does is it applies the color of a brush onto the areas that we just painted and it just helps smooth everything over a little bit more. So I'll sample an area by his nose, by that face shine, and then go and paint over here as well. Do the same thing by his cheek, paint over that area too. Now if you find that any of these adjustments are a little too intense, you can always go to that layer in your layers panel, go to the opacity and just drag down that opacity a little bit to reduce the intensity of those colors and those brush adjustments. But now with just those two layers and those basic adjustments, turning that on and off, you can see the huge difference that that makes for removing that face shine and just giving a more even skin tone overall. Now these techniques will work no matter what skin tones your subject has, so it really doesn't matter the same techniques apply, but this is something super helpful for touching up portraits that I definitely use all the time in my own photos. If you're surprised by how simple that was, make sure to hit that like button down below, and if you want to learn more about Photoshop, make sure to get my Photoshop Blueprint ebook down below. It's totally free. So if you want to check that out, it's a great way to further your skills in Photoshop. Anyways, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com. I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.